guys, you join me on pretty wet old day and uh, we're just about to put the face mask on and go into the tackle and bait shop in Donny. Um, we're going to meet the guys at some point, we're going to have a look round, see what we've got. It looks absolutely rammed from uh, from just stood in the doorway. Uh, I'm looking forward to going round and take you round. We've got lots of gear in here, loads of bait. So uh, let's get into it and uh, have a look round. Right guys, welcome to Fishing Tackle and Bait in Doncaster and uh, we've got the lovely Sam with us and uh, we're just going to give you a little chat about uh, the shop and a bit about them. Yeah, so basically we're uh, an independent tackle and bait shop, as you can see by the writing. Uh, we're not an online based company, we're uh, a shop, actually a physical shop where you can come in, talk to the staff members and you know... Interact, yeah, yeah. Interact and talk, yeah, you know, you're actually talking to a person one on one. And, and what and what I've seen, mate, it just just I ain't, I ain't even done the shop tour yet, but I've just had a look through the window, yeah. and the door, sorry, and there's, it's rammed in it. It's crammed. It's uh, yeah, you have to uh, squeeze and weave all the way through, basically. But but that's so what it's about, isn't it? Need. Yeah, that's what it's about. A bit of tackle you want, it's, it's in there somewhere. And what types of um, sort of uh, angling do you do? Do you cover everything, predator? Cover everything. So we've got we've got predator stuff in there. This year, your course gear in there. This your general course. We do your, mat, uh, your match fishing lads, this is your carp stuff in there, and especially all your different brands. And also, we're seeing a bit of carp stuff in there as well. That's brilliant. So, as well as bait, live fresh bait, and everything like that. Perfectly. So, get yourself down, guys. We're going to have a look. You can have a look all the way around. I'm sure you'll be putting uh, lots of different comments on there. We're going to leave the links to the Facebook um, and and everything to get to uh, to have a look. And uh, welcome to Angling for You. And this is Fishing Tackle and Bait. Join us inside. Right guys, so we're going to start down the bottom of the shop, um, just with aids with uh, people uh, moving around. You see on some nets, uh, there's really nice sort of pike, big pike or big carp nets that you can utilise and then next to those got some fridges absolutely rammed full of dead baits, uh, really decent. Moving on to this side, we've got absolutely tons of, of, of bait, there's loads of different pellets and boilies glugs, wafters, all sorts of stuff for your big carping and uh, a lot of particulate baits as well. At the bottom you can see the big bags of boilers and uh, different partic uh, particles, got the standard big boxes of different mixes and you can see all the maize and particles in the bigger dynamite boxes at the bottom and then moving it to the top an absolute array of different wafters, boilers, pellets. Now I use those big fish ones on for barbell fishing, and um, they've got the, the glugs as well on there and the dynamite section. And then moving down, um, we've got all of the different dynamite um, carp and match ground baits, pastes, uh, pellets, all sorts of stuff. So we'll start with the the barbels. Uh, we've got all, all the barbel and the carp ones, the big slightly bigger. Um, sort of river based things um, so they're all at the top as you can see absolutely tons and then onto the, the very top we've got the pellet soaks the stickies the oils and the, all the different flavorings all the way down absolutely tons and then moving down another shelf we've got all the old schools that my favorites the green swim stems uh, all there, that range right down to the bottom of there and then on the next bottom, we've got the ready-made pastes and more particles, fibre pastes, extreme pastes, um, and a lot more different pellets. And this is just one of many that I'm going to be showing you. So going into this corner, again, we've got little specific match style wafters and pellet soaks, different flavoured meats um, and different wafters there. And then onto this one again, some more of the main line. Uh, bits and bobs again ready hookable pellets different meats different wafters got absolutely loads of particle stuff on the bottom more of uh, their their own sort of different pellets and uh, already pre-cut meats uh, the uh, fajuka uh, bits and bobs there the the two in ones and then on top of that more wafters and then <laughs> moving on to the next one we're on the sonu baits and again loads of different pellet wafters there and all the different types that are in the range of pellet that they do from Sonu, absolutely everything, absolutely tons, it's most stock I've seen anywhere and at bottom loads of different types of um, natural ground baits and then moving on again we're still with all that Sonu stuff, all the different pellets, 
all the different ground baits, the additive ground baits, the boxes again with the different spod mixes in at the bottom. I'm just going to get to the end of this one now I can stand back and show you again to the Sono Baits flavourings, the Redivill hookable pellets, the lavas. We'll stand back and just give you a little idea of how mental that side is. I mean, is everything on this one. There's loads and loads of stock there. And then moving on to the other side, we've got the old classics, the Sensus range, uh, my Sensus Lake, I love that for the winter fishing. Uh, and again, different corns, different additives, roach baits, van der Nines underneath there, uh, brown crumb, ba crumb ba bases um, and natural bases. And then some, some other ground baits as well for method mix. And then moving from that, they've got some central sort of goody, goody box bits in the middle where again, they've got nice little individual lookable pellets, um, different spare bags of uh, mixed ground baits and pellets, and just gives you something as a little bit of a bargain. Um, and you can see the stock, they've just got a big delivery. So there's stuff everywhere, which is amazing. Um, just, you can see that just full of corn, bait buckets, um, absolutely tons of those. Uh, and again, in the corner, riddles. And we're gonna go back the other way and we'll see on the other side. And um, so that's again, this big one we've just been round. We're going to this side and you've got lots of hemp, all sorts of things stacked up. You've got the fluoros um, from Fajukas. And again, onto the ringers range, they've got the full range of ringers, all the different additives, the different wafters, different pellets, um, all sorts of expanders, pastes, absolutely loads of stuff. Um, and again, the crafty catcher, uh, it's, there's all, all the range of flavorings there and additives, uh, plus the, the ground bait bases, absolutely tons of stuff. On this end one we've got um, main lines, um, there's absolutely everything that you can want, bait boosters, uh, wafters, luncheon meats, donkey pellets for your, your big barbel river fishing, the mixed ones, um, and again loads of different types of pellets, fantastic. Let's have a look around the other side because there's plenty more. Right, so the main line theme continues and we've got more dumbbells, more boilies, more pellets, um, this is more of the big carper um, they've got the the, the add, add, additives that you would put into um, your spod mixes like your big mix bits of maize and, and chickpeas and all that kind of stuff there absolutely tons of those loads of these uh, mainline impact boilers and mini boilers pop-ups spod mixes sticky mixes unbelievable amount of stuff like I could spend a fortune here absolute fortune with no problems whatsoever so let's have a look around the corner because there's even more stuff. So we've, we've already seen obviously the plethora of dead baits that are in here. Loads of different uh, mackerel spell or sort of stuff in there. And, and then there's more frozen boilers in there. Big kilo, uh, 10 kilo bags. Got that on there for 90 quid which is decent. So you're looking at less less than a tenner a kilo. And then absolutely tons of these. So we've got this got Nutribait stand here in front of me. Uh, and again, they've got loads of different wafters, uh, different pellet mixes. I've got a whole stander there. And these are things that you don't see in every shop. Um, and then on the other side, they've got, again, loads of different glugs, flavorings, ground bait add additives in, in bigger bags uh, for if you're staying away on those 48 hour carp trips. Um, and it, there's tons, I mean, I swear to God, there must be every boiler, every single wafter, you could probably look at in imagination. Um, they've got little deals on there, two for ones, uh, until 3rd of May, so got a bit of time left on that one. And again, just an amazing array on the stickies. Um, there's loads of their wafters, their, their mixes at the top, uh, the glugs, the boilies, really good for your carp fishing, and onto Nash Baits. They've got a, a lovely rack here from Nash Baits, again with all the stuff on, the fluoros, all the different bait additives. Um, and the big bags if you're going, like I said, away on the weekend. Right, so we're going to start on the carp bit next. You see the massive carp nets that we've got here, and um, pop-up mats. Um, we've got predator mats there that you can carry on the bank. Little stools, um, just if you're going to buy the, the tops for your, your landing net, um, big landing net heads, they've got the prices from the, the basic NGTs up to your, your more expensive Witchwood. And you know, it's, there's, there's an absolute array of them you can see there. There's absolutely 
tons, tons of different handles as well, uh, with different variations of spreaders, um, barras, all the different types of waders and camo waders, and then behind those they've got all the different sleeping bags, thermal ones, and all the big rod holders to get multiple big pit rods set up, and then the slightly smaller ones for stalking. And then next to those they've got a load of different spinners and uh, sort of uh, lures. We've got loads there, and they've got the nice little cases as well, a bit like what I've got to carry around with. And they've got some sea fishing traces as well, um, which is good, nice to see. And we've got nice little harbour rods, little akuma rods, I used to have those. Got the lines and the different traces for lots of different types. There's mackerel traces there, all sorts of different, and all the different hooks, swivels, cases to put those together. And then onto your line and all the different beads, swivels, traces. Really good to see that for sea fishing. So moving forward from here, we've got cradles galore. We've even got a fake old fish in one of them, which we'll have a look at. So yeah, really good array of different size heights and widths and lengths of cradles. And again, they've got various different price range. Everything's not at full whack. So you can see uh, which suits your budget. Uh, and then loads of different shoes, wellies, um, more different sleeping bags, mats to go underneath it, covers to go over the top of it. Um, absolute plethora there of those and the different bait bags and then all on the tracker stuff so that would be like all your camping gear your extra things to put your boilers and everything in and your little tables again if you want to look at your Nash stuff there's all the Nash range there of luggage and equipment right from rucksacks rod holders backpacks little carry alls all sorts of stuff and in the middle they've got all the, the things that are on deal, different types of boilies, different glugs, different wafters, um, big bags, all sorts of stuff like that, which are really good, um, putting it on deal. On this side we've got more portable bags, uh, more rucksacks and more carry-alls, different bait bucket, bait holders, hook, hook uh, cases, reel cases, all sorts of stuff there, the old fish just showing you how big that actually is and with a sling inside you can lift them out with they've got a corder rod bags which are really decent i've got a couple i've got one of those for my uh, barbell fishing and then uh, into the middle i've got a plethora of stands ready for bite alarms and pods for uh, carp and river fishing you can see there's absolutely different every different price range starting from your ngts and your dams working right up to your corders and your nash um, so you, you really have got a choice of all different types and again a load of different size bait mixing bowls for your big nights and your, your big spod mixes absolutely tons of those all in camo different colors and then you've got your waterproof boxes as well bait boxes absolutely loads of those as well all of your Nash ones all full and all in stock um, and then your stands Again, additional bags, um, carry-alls. You've just got so much choice, it's unbelievable. And that goes right around all the way to the other side, um, right up to the corner stuff. So there's l absolutely loads for you to look at there. So we're just standing at the front of the shop now and just going to have a look at, there's all of the corner lines, hook links, and uh, leaders, different crimps, different baiting needles, different pliers, all sorts of stuff on there. Uh, bits of lead, bits of tubing, loads of different hooks, um, putty, all sorts of stuff there. Everything in the corner range you can possibly need. Marker floats, spotting gear, catapults, bubble floats, lead car, absolutely everything. Line clips, everything full, 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 um, which is, is the main thing. Um, and again, ready-made tracers if you need those. And not everyone's confident in tying them, especially when they're for big fish. They've got all those in there. They've got the winders to put them on if you want them on the winders. And, and all the different winder bags for the bags for them to go in. Um, and then they've got attachments, um, different little bits and bobs to put into your uh, pods if you need them. Little extenders, uh, longer legs, all sorts of stuff like that. And then right at the top, they've got all the big camping uh, 
tents pot and you know your bivvies and all that kind of stuff there's absolutely tons of them tons of them bivvies there and loads here right down ready to go onto the sides so absolutely loads and then flipping it on we'll start on this end on here again just all the deals that are on at the moment on big bags of boilies loads and loads of big bags there loads in stock um, and then moving on to the to the Nash side um, again just more micro floats bubble floats um, spot ins all hook links feeder beads shock links all sort of all those are on there all in stock rube uh, tubes for your uh, your hooks um, different different baiting needles different lengths um, absolutely everything foams for your pop-up dissolvable PVA bits of cork bits of fake baits all on there <clears throat> absolutely tons and then loads of lines shots um, all over on the cut and the codex uh, stand so moving on from there absolutely tons and tons of stuff on there really good Then following on from that, we're looking at the Fox station. We've got see other PVA stuff up the, uh, at the top. Got absolutely tons of that. Loads of hooks, everything in stock there. And again, more of the same bubble floats, different lines. So if you, you you've got a, sp a personal preference into what brand you use, they've got everything here. Uh, big old slingshots there for firing those massive boilers out at distance. Loads of rig tubing and lead cars. And again, all those bags, uh, swing tips there for your bite alarms extra bags, mobile, um, extra mats, the ones that are a little bit more cheaper in pricing rather than your big one, a bit more mobile, like what we take. Absolutely tons there, scoops for your, your spotting mix, brilliant. So right next to the, the front of the shop, um, and all this stuff is for camping, um, so you've got all sorts of mugs, um, you've got your, your kettles, you've got your glasses, you've got all bits and bobs that you would need when you're staying away you've got little rig boxes head torches all your different caps that you could possibly want um, and again under the bottom a lot more pva um, pop-ups um, scoops rig tidies brilliant amount of stuff there um, and just into the corner got all the different shirts and camo gear um, really absolutely everything got all your butt trackies all your coats all sorts of stuff there <clears throat> different coats as well all that absolutely rammed full let's walk that down and then we've got all different types of leads from all different manufacturers next to the counter loads of different types of leads there just everything you could possibly need <clears throat> for if you're river fishing or you know fishing on, on long casts for carp sea fishing or even just your normal commercials and loads of different lavas fluoro lights I used to use those when i'm fishing in the dark uh, for the tips of your rods or, or your, your pole floats and then just behind the counter we've got quite a few different reels that we can see and we'll go around the other side and, and have a little gander at what else i've got but just at the top there we've got some uh, big big measurement scales and then we've got some electric ones as well at the end um, with the different t-bars so just stood from this side we've got loads of different pole floats absolutely tons there and, and you know they're welcome to give you advice about what different pole floats to use you've got absolutely every brand every make every style a pole float that you need there loads of different scrittings and different pellets a couple of quid a bag got loads of those like bagging pellets that are, are right next to the front your normal shots and dinsmore shots um split shots and then on this other side we've got some more bait tubs and tops and rod rest tops normal stops um and then above we've got nets everywhere so we've got loads of different types sizes shapes colors brands there's all these ones on there and then when we go around the other side you'll see all the those as well absolutely tons and then all, all the Maver stands so this has got all the different types of floats you can see the river floats there for fishing the pole and a big winders to put those on all the different feeders for fishing the rivers um, all the Preston uh, floats at the bottom there ready-made rigs little swivels little tight beads little 
weights and uh, loads of different types of lines and uplink line um, and then onto the matrix stand my favorite uh, we've got loads of gear waiting to go on there the eva nets all the different attachments that are really difficult to get hold of at the moment they've got all in here all there and again they've got their their Daiwa cases at the bottom the rig winders but they've got all the, the matrix different feeders rod tops they've got in the mxc's which are really difficult to get hold of took me a while to get hold of those they've got all of those in there and all of the other ones as well which is crazy um all sorts of different uh, feeder bead tighters um different hook molds um different feeder molds different ba baiting tools punches and then all the different hooks at the top as well um, and all the guru stand exactly the same all their ready-made rigs hook links line pellet waggle floats and then centrally all the different types of hooks um, and just tons of rod rests got even got the rod rests across the bottom as well all sorts um, the Preston Brake uh, uh, Broly the different um, towels at the bottom different bait tubs and again a mixture of feeder uh, stuff for commercials and for river stuff are on there as well which you don't see often uh, pay, uh, the the rapid release pole cups as well that you sell there to make to put on paste pots I'm just going to spin it over to the other side before we walk any further so again all the midi floats different river floats different wagglers different pellet wagglers brilliant loads of sort of I would say universal cage feeders, uh, longer waggler floats, every single one you can imagine. If you want a, a, a quick set to set yourself up with different ones, there's loads there. And then the end, they've even got the Daiwa end zone stuff, um, the different hooks, the different feeders, and the Daiwa lines as well. And then we've got onto the elastics, even got the new MIDI reactor core elastics, the Maver elastics, the MAP elastics, absolutely tons. And then moving down to this side, they've got all the Guru luggage. Really difficult to get hold of those. There's the top kit cases, the, the feeder bags, the, the small uh, Pro Max MK2s. There's um, the, the smaller version of it as well. Different bait ones uh, with the drainers in it. They've got the end zone stuff as well. And the different little quick trolleys that if you go in there, there's a bit of Matrix luggage in no way behind there as well and the air z the end zone and then more luggage on there as well we're going to go back to that and we'll come back to that side because i've just got the midi tackle side on this side and again all different connectors all different hooks all different hook links all pellet wagglers feeders everything is on there ready-made rigs roosts and the kit safes from preston as well absolutely unbelievable and that stuff and then moving back over this side i've got all the different bait buckets we've got the different bags that we've got there all the different bags the roller roost bags a little box of bits as well all different types there so even more going down onto the more eva style luggage we've got the frenzy the midi the senza so kuma Mava, Matrix, they're the Matrix coats that were impossible to get older, what took me ages to get older. Um, and again, this got the Sphere luggage, the, the leader, slightly cheaper leader luggage. They've got the different brollies and they've got loads of deluxe um, rod holders. They've got Spheres, Prestons, Mava, I can see some Guru at the back, some Map Jewel ones, Sensus ones, um, absolutely tons made uh, matrix one big one there hidden away we've got the the daiwa airbags this is crazy and i have no voice left at the end of this and then now we're on to the map the map uh, so there's absolutely every hook um that you can get there the bait the the beads the cutters the attachments and again the meat cutters as well and then the preston one we've got all the preston attachments you never see that at the moment like just all the attachments on there the marker sticks for for distance they've got all the additional uh, spray bars and then all the different molds feeders stots just amazing catapults all the different different spray bars there really good even got the thermal gloves as well so let's have a little look around the other side and see what they got over there 
So starting on this side, I've got the bait boats. I take those out for uh, your big carp fishing. And like I was saying earlier, there's absolutely a plethora of nets. I mean, there's tons, all different makes, sizes, models, type of fishing. And then underneath it, there's all the keep nets as well. There's an absolute load uh, of those. And then on the other side, we've got all the different landing handles cupping kits, extra legs for different boxes, loads of stuff in the bargain buckets as well uh, to get you started and then loads and loads of top kits but we'll come back onto the poles in a second. Right so we've got the boxes um, and they've got a load of different types of boxes here so we've got the Gurus, the Sensus, Maps, Mavers and they've got loads of different um, types of price range and you'll see these in my pros and cons videos. And as you can see there, independent fishing and tackle never be beaten on price. So that's a good thing. If you've seen it somewhere else, bring it here and they can beat it. So you even got the new Daiwa tournament, which we might get out very, very soon and have a little look at that. Um, the May Matrix, uh, one with the seats, the Inception, Inception stations, loads of different um, XR, Matrix one, the little canal size, um, and even if you want to go simple you can go with the old school traditionals and you've got pole rollers as well down here and all the different side trays and coats so loads of different side trays I just admit of putting it all away but I'd sort of like it that there's loads of stuff everywhere because it just makes you feel like you're getting a deal when you're looking through it all so you can see there's loads and loads of coats here and bits that they're putting away and suits and trousers um, I've literally got an, an order as I came in, so this is just to give you an idea of how much stuff's just come in. I mean, it's absolutely rammed. These are all different rollers and baits and all sorts of stuff. Um, so we'll come back to the poles in a second. There's a few chairs at the bottom. There's the Inception one, there's the Matrix one, there's the Sensus one, there's the Endzone one. Um, and then we're back to rods and reels. So you've got an absolute ton of cart rods there, absolutely loads. And mixed into that are, are all the different feeder rods all various lengths, brands, sizes, they've got everything that you could need there. Um, they've also got the Predator rods in there as well. All decent uh, pricings, as you can see. Absolute load there. And we'll go around the other side and see what there's around there as well. So we're in Predator corner now, so all sort of stuff, Predator angling, it's a whole aisle ready for that. All different types of baits, hook links, jigging rigs, for pair, pipe floats, all sorts of things there. Different bombs, different traces, uh, different unhooking gloves, loads of different, as you can see, bargains on the bottom, but loads of different baits. So a lot of Savage Gear stuff there, which is very popular measuring mats for like your perch and your small jacks little uh, jig head baits for uh, for perch fishing and loads of little little shakers and all sorts of stuff there and then onto this side you've got the bigger ones the biggest the little mini ones but then the bigger savage gear ones uh, with a bit bigger 4d ones all sorts of stuff different colors different sizes different makes brilliant um, and then onto this one again, you've got your jig heads, um, loads of different stuff, loads of different things to attach. I've never seen anywhere, anywhere that's got this much um, different styles. It's just absolutely rammed with different styles of lures, jig heads, soft rubber um, fish to, to add on to your hook. There's just unbelievable, unbelievable amount. Every colour, every size every make it is all here and it is full which is just amazing and to know that it's local is even better You've even got spinners on there spinners all sorts of stuff there catapults pegs really good and then again more on this side and then you've got your, your, your little uh, jig rods and your pipe rods on the end loads of those there for you to have a look your drop shotting rods all sorts and a few c rods on the on the very end right so we've got an absolute ton of reels on this wall um i'm going to show you the stock in a second so 
absolutely every style of reel for different types of fishing uh, whether it's match uh, if it's feeder or if it's uh, river uh, there's absolutely everything carp and you see all their hydroelastics up there there's absolutely tons of those fresh bait down here um, and we're just going to nip the head around the corner and you can see the absolute unbelievable amount of different reels there's absolutely tons different reels ready for somebody to pick up absolutely loads so we've got all the bait runners on this side carp reels all the way up there absolutely loads and again with the stocks in the, in the back let's get on to the poles and have a look at that right so down this uh, there's uh, a load of different poles and they're willing to just get them out and sit you down on a box and talk you through them and they've got all absolute top range poles uh, but they've also got you know intermediate poles and beginner poles margin poles loads of different stuff there um, and you know you can sit down and interchange them and try them all um, together and see which you feel is the best right so we've just got a little bit of outside area and you can see a plethora of different seats chairs for, for river fishing for carp fishing or if you just want to be um, on a commercial and you want to be on a seat because it feels better for you They've got absolutely all sorts, trackers, corders. Um, I had the little aero, aero one there, that's the one that I had. They've got the bigger style overnight chairs, the Maver ones if you want to do a commercial style chair. They've got the midi ones inside as well, absolutely fantastic. And they've got a nice little bit of an awning over the top just to keep them nice and dry. And uh, yeah, brilliant. Right boys, so a fantastic um, shop tour and a look round first time for me. Loads and loads of bits here. Uh, we'll put all the links in the description below. We'll uh, also put their Facebook page in there. Come and have a look, they'll, they'll match anything that anybody else is doing. But they've got absolutely fantastic amount of stock and as you've seen. And they're just great people and they're here to give you great advice. So get yourself down to Fish and Tackle and Bait in Doncaster and uh, grab yourself a bargain. So. Thanks a lot uh, for watching. Join us on the Facebook group at Angling For You. If you want to join loads of members, 6,000 members on there, share your, your fishing and what, what's going on. If you want to just do photos, join the Instagram at Angling Underscore For You. And if you uh, share and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And until the next one, guys, thank you very much for watching. Tight lines.